Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to share with you how I fixed the iPhone 6 touch disease. So, this is my girlfriend's iPhone and a few weeks ago it was very unresponsive. You would touch the, the screen and nothing would happen for about 80% of the time. It would make the phone really, really unusable. So, I was looking uh, online and it seems as if the problem is the uh, IC that controls the touch screen. So it's obviously in the logic board. So a few videos suggested that you open up the phone and reach the IC and put a piece of tape on it. That way it would make pressure on it because the actual fault is that the soldering under the IC comes off because of the issue with these iPhones that are quite bendable. So by putting a piece of tape on top of it, uh, it, would, it would make some pressure on the IC and that would fix the problem. But that, however, didn't work for me. And uh, so I decided to try my own way. This phone has been working flawlessly for the past six weeks. It hasn't failed even once. So um, as you can see right now, it's working perfectly fine. The touch screen is responsive. So I'm going to show you the way I fixed it. The tools you will need for this are all your screwdrivers and suction cup to open up your iPhone a soldering iron. Now, I was going to do this with a heat gun, but I don't have one, so I had to use a soldering iron. This is a cheap one from eBay. And some aluminum foil. For this fix, we're gonna need to disassemble the iPhone and reach the logic board. Uh, I'm going to fast forward through the disassembly process because there are a lot of videos out there on YouTube which show you step by step how to do that. I'm going to leave a link in the description of the tutorial I used for myfixit.com. So yeah, let's get to it. Right guys, so we have pretty much disassembled the iPhone and we're almost ready to take out the logic board. So let's just be very careful when removing it uh, and make sure it doesn't get caught up with any of these other cables. Right guys, now with the logic board out of the phone, we can flip it over and find the IC that's responsible of controlling the touch screen. So we're gonna peel this piece of tape off and the IC that controls the touch screen is right there. It's that one in between these two, that shiny one right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect our soldering iron and we're going to use a piece of aluminum foil to transfer heat onto the IC. Now what this will do is it will put enough heat onto the IC to melt the soldering and re-solder the IC onto the logic board because that is the main fault. Right guys, so what you want to do is you want to cut off a small piece of aluminum foil, fold it up so that it matches the size of your tiny IC. So we're going to cover it all up with aluminum foil so that the heat can um, transfer a lot easier and more evenly in the IC. Okay guys, now with our tiny piece of aluminum foil ready, we're going to place it on top of the IC and with our soldering iron already hot, we're going to place it on top. Now, I'm not going to do it because I've already done it and my iPhone is working, but what you guys want to do is have this at, at its hot temperature, and in my case, I put this screw that's sticking out here on top of this piece of uh, aluminum foil. So I place this on top of there, and we're going to do it, I did it for Three, I did it three times for intervals of 30 seconds. So I placed it on top 
with uh, some gentle pressure and left it on there for 30 seconds and that should be enough time to melt the solder that's on uh, underneath the IC so I'm gonna lift it up and I'm gonna show you you guys are just gonna do it like this place it on top do a bit of pressure and leave it there for 30 seconds so I'm just gonna show you what it looks like from an angle it's gonna look like that and you guys are gonna do that for three times 30 seconds each that's that's the combination that works for me so if you have a heat gun you can do something similar you can cover up the rest of the board with aluminum foil and just leave the IC uh, open and then heat it up at some intervals as well now once you've done your heating of the IC for three times you want to put it back together uh, just use the same tutorial that you used uh, in reverse order to put back together the logic board and the iPhone okay guys so we're pretty much done um, I really hope this solution works for you as much as it did for me uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it this will allow more people to see the video and if you have any comments if you have any success stories please let me know in the comments thank you very much